And right now at 6 o'clock, let's continue our live Team 7 coverage with Cedar Rapids voters. And this election will make Cedar Rapids City history no matter who wins. Jason Mortweet, Jessica McInnes joining us live, the new form of Cedar Rapids City Government. Well, history will definitely be made in Cedar Rapids tonight with voters selecting a new city council for the new form of government. 38 candidates are on the ballot, 36 of them are running for council, and two of them are running for mayor. Now, retired lawyer and former state lawmaker Kate K. Holleran voted by absentee ballot. She began her day by going out for breakfast with friends, and she's been doing a lot of door-to-door -door campaigning, saying she can learn a lot about voter concerns that way, among them taxes and zoning concerns. Now she's going up against Scott Olson, a real estate broker and developer. He voted late this morning. Olson says economic, economic development is a key issue for the city. Now both candidates say hiring a city manager is key to this new city government. Well, that's right, Jessica. And the eight brand new city council members will help choose that city manager. Now there are a lot of names, there are a lot of ballots, and potentially a lot of confusion for voters. Tonight we'll be watching for races where no candidate gets 50% of the vote plus one. That'll force a runoff election in December. Oh, there's 38 candidates out there, and there's yard signs everywhere, and every, every yard you sign you see has a different name on it. And, and I think voters aren't really sure what to expect on the ballot. And Langenberg predicts about a 30 percent voter turnout for this historic city election. We will have live interviews with all the winners tonight at 10. Now we'll throw things live to Iowa City with News Channel 7's Kate Stevens. Kate?